Hi, this is Luke, and today I'm going to be showing you the brand new features of Android Jelly Bean 4.2 on the Google Nexus 4. Uh, obviously, Nexus 4 here. Uh, before I get started, uh, I have to mention a new feature for Jelly Bean 4.2, which is actually only available on tablets, so on the Nexus 10, for example, uh, which I think is a brilliant idea, uh, and I couldn't miss it out of this, uh, is the user accounts idea. So now, finally, you can have separate accounts on your device and be able to sign in and out from different people, have different backgrounds, applications, etc., which I think is a, is a brilliant idea. I'm sure lots of people will be copying that, not mentioning any names there. Okay, so another thing you can do uh, on Jelly Bean 4.2, which I'm not going to be able to show you in this video, but subscribe to the channel and I will show you in another one, is that you can share wirelessly your phone with a HDTV. Uh, so all you'll need is a wireless display adapter, uh, plug it in to your HDMI enabled TV and then you can actually mirror directly what's on your screen onto the HD telly which is another brilliant idea obviously uh, it's been seen before with the Wi-Fi display hub for example for the S3 but uh, obviously the wireless stream into HD telly is a really good idea okay so another great feature that's in Android Jelly Bean 4.2 is the new notification center obviously Jelly Bean saw the uh, notification center be introduced. Now you can actually action things from the center. So if you've got a text message come through, you can opt to reply, or if you've got an alarm, you can opt to snooze it, or anything like that. You can actually action things from directly from your notification notification center. Sorry, rather than having to go into the notification itself uh, and do things there. Uh, the speed of Jelly Bean 4.2 is absolutely amazing. I can't believe. The speed of this phone for such a cheap phone. Uh, obviously, two three nine. This was uh, in the UK. Uh, similar dollar price. Uh, I believe it's just just over three hundred dollars. I'll show you a couple of speed things now. So, um, if we just go to Google.co.uk, for example. Obviously, I'm not on the quickest internet here for a start. Uh, click on a few things. What are we going to search for? Let's search for the Nexus. Or if we search that straight away you're being brought up with things clicking the links and it's so so quick one of the quickest things obviously Apple designed their iPhones to be uh, fast uh, to run Android often can't compete with that but now I really believe it can uh, if anything I'd say it seems faster than the iPhone 5 which I didn't think was possible Widgets now uh, are even more customizable. You can, uh, when you move a widget, it'll automatically make room for other things. Obviously, this is just a brief demonstration here, but when you move it, if you wanted that there, automatically shifts your stuff around, allowing for even more customization on your screen. Beam photos and videos uh, is another new feature, which means you can now uh, share photos and videos. Uh, through NFC uh, back to back and then the word is beam so it will beam whatever is on your screen over to them uh, I've seen the applications that do that before but now it's built directly in to uh, Jelly Bean 4.2 there's a, a little feature that's been built in um, to help those that are short sighted or uh, perhaps have uh, a visually impaired I'm not going to show you here but uh, you can just easily zoom in or get uh, larger text fonts which is brilliant. One of the main things introduced uh, in Android Jelly Bean 4.2 uh, is the panoramic photo uh, application. Uh, it's interesting to note that when I first turned on the Nexus 4 I tried to use this straight away uh, and I couldn't use it for whatever reason Then about 10 minutes later uh, I was prompted to do the Jelly Bean update so obviously some of the devices didn't actually ship with it installed I'll just show you a brief application. I've got nothing exciting in front of me. I've got a chair opposite. But you'll see that you line it up with blue dots. It tells you exactly where you need to string the image together. Right, that I'm not going to go into too much detail, but you'll see there that obviously it gives you sort of a walkthrough. It doesn't expect you to do it on your own. Uh, it will help you and guide you to. Uh, to get accurate panoramic photos. Now, 
One of the final new things introduced was the gesture keyboard. Just trying to find a message in there we go. So if you're trying to write a message, you now obviously there's applications like this before uh, called obviously the swipe keyboard. Uh, so I can just swipe across the keyboard. That isn't the right word I was going for. So I'm not actually taking my finger off the screen here. Hello, my name is Luke. Really interesting text message. Uh, I'm sure you'll all agree. But it just shows you the simplicity of the gesture keyboard and how useful it can actually be. If you're in a rush, you can just quickly swipe your finger around, type a text message. It does take some getting used to, but it could work out to be really quick should you get used to it. So there, the newest features of Android Jelly Bean 4.2. Sorry, uh, I couldn't go into as much detail as I wanted with some of them. But as I say, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and I will show you the other new features uh, in separate videos. I think they deserve videos to themselves. So like the video if you found this useful, uh, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.